Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, a Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, hosted an IFTA banquet for a number of senior officials and officers of the Ministry of Interior at the Public Security Officers Club. Upon arrival, His Royal Highness was received by the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness highlighted the officers' readiness and commitment to achieving the highest standards in the policing and protective services to achieve the aspirations of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces. His Royal Highness noted the Ministry's vital role in upholding public security and providing a safe and comfortable environment for the Kingdom's citizens and residents. His Royal Highness extended his best wishes to the senior officers on the occasion of the holy month of Ramadan. His Royal Highness commended the Ministry's efforts in safeguarding the Kingdom and contributing to its achievements under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness expressed his appreciation to all the Ministry personnel headed by the Minister of Interior for their tireless efforts in performing their noble duties across the Kingdom. His Royal Highness commended the Ministry's actions to strengthen the Kingdom's criminal justice system and community security through new sentencing reforms that introduced an alternative penalties programme and open prisons. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of maintaining stability and added that security is crucial to progress and development. His Royal Highness commemorated the Kingdom's fallen servicemen and proudly honoured their sacrifices. He wished the Kingdom security, stability and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King. For his part, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah highlighted the Ministry's ongoing efforts to perform its security duties with the utmost efficiency in line with the directors of His Majesty the King. He reiterated that upholding security is crucial to assisting the Kingdom's ongoing development. The Minister expressed gratitude to His Royal Highness for his continued support to the Ministry's efforts and wished the Kingdom continued stability and prosperity. His Royal Highness was accompanied by the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Educational Charitable Trust, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Under the patronage of the President of the Supreme Health Council and Board Chairman of Bahrain Diabetes Society, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and in cooperation with BAPCO, the Bahrain Diabetes Society organised the Ramadan Kapka to honour children with newly diagnosed diabetes. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah said that the Society achieved great successes in charitable and developmental work by performing its national duty for community members to prevent diabetes and reduce its complications. He noted that out of its responsibility and community partnership, the Society adopted many initiatives and projects due to its belief in charitable and voluntary work. 
for her part, the Vice Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Bahrain Diabetes Society, Dr. Mariam al Hajri, affirmed the society in cooperation with the Ministry of Health and relevant authorities and through community partnership is developing the quality of services and programmes provided with the aim of raising health awareness for diabetes prevention and reducing its complications and supporting children with diabetes. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, delivered a statement before the World Bank Group, the WBG's Development Committee, on behalf of the Arab Group and the Maldives, represented by Bahrain, on the sidelines of the annual meetings of the Board of the Governors of the WBG and the International Monetary Fund, the IMF. The Minister stressed the importance of international cooperation to deal with global economic developments. He emphasised the importance of developing plans, strategies and programmes that assist the economic development process, as well as contribute to the alleviation and enhancement of these challenges. Sheikh Salman stressed the importance of exchanging experiences, developing effective and innovative solutions and accelerating work within sustainable development goals to maximise the benefits of available financial resources and meet the development needs of a number of countries. The Minister congratulated the UAE Minister of State for Financial Affairs, Mohammed bin Hadi Al Husseini, on the UAE's chairmanship of WBG's Development Committee in its current session. He praised WBG's efforts in supporting sustainable development and enhancing cooperation to face global challenges and achieve economic development. The Real Estate Regulatory Authority, RERA, convened for a board meeting chaired by Isam Khalaf. The session extended thanks to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the issuance of Decree 30 of 2023, reconstituting the RERA board and appointing its members. The panel also commended the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and Survey Land Registration Bureau Chairman Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah Al Khalifa to the real estate sector. RERA Chief Executive Officer Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa delivered a detailed presentation outlining the latest developments. The panel also endorsed the appointment of the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning, Amna bin Ahmed Al Romehi, as RERA Vice Chairperson. It also approved the establishment of an action team and selected its members to follow up on issues and tasks referred by the RERA Board, conduct technical and legal studies and submit recommendations in this regard to the Board. The National Initiative for Agricultural Development, in cooperation with the Ministry of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture and the Supreme Council for the Environment, planted the parking lots of the farmer's market in Hurat Ali with the support of the Broccoli Centre Company as part of the second phase of the National Afforestation Campaign, Forever Green. The forestation process took place in the presence of NIAD Secretary General Sheikh Maram bin Isa Al Khalifa, Assistant Under Secretary for Agriculture Affairs at the Ministry of Municipality Affairs and Agriculture, Engineer Mohammed Al Arabi, Director of the company supporting the project at Mirza Hassan, and a number of relevant officials. This contribution comes from the Broccoli Centre Company to increase the green area on the site and maintain the environmental balance by providing shade trees in parking lots and to strengthen the principle of community partnership to support environmental projects and contribute to achieving the goals of Bahrain Vision 2030, sustainable development and national plans to reach zero neutrality by year 2060. Government hospitals and the NASA Vocational Training Centre launched a new partnership that contributes to enhancing joint cooperation between the two sides. In the presence of the CEO of Government Hospitals, Dr Ahmed Mohammed Al Ansari, and the CEO of the NASA Vocational Training Centre, Dr Abdullah bin Nasser Al Nuemi. On this occasion, Al Ansari stressed the importance of strengthening partnership and exchanging experiences and capabilities between various government sectors and institutions according to a methodology that aspires to advance the health sector in Bahrain. He affirmed that the agreement stems from the directors of the Government Hospital's Board of Directors, chaired by Sheikh Hisham bin Abdulaziz Al Khalifa, to raise the level of efficiency and health services provided by government hospitals in accordance with the highest standards. Al Ansari noted that this partnership will enable government hospitals to participate in use of the facilities of the Vocational Training Centre for Research and Development in AI. 
For his part, Anoemi expressed optimism that government hospitals will benefit from the centre's capabilities in the interest of the country and citizens to provide the best advanced medical services in a manner that places Bahrain among the developed countries in this field. During the holy month of Ramadan, Bahraini society is keen to open Ramadan majlises to receive visitors and relatives throughout the holy month, which reflects the unity and harmony among the people of Bahrain. Based on the authentic Ramadan traditions and human values inherited from parents and grandparents, the people of the Kingdom of Bahrain of all ages are keen during the blessed month of Ramadan to attend majlises because of their clear and important role in opening horizons of education, communication and exchange of knowledge. They also play an important religious role during the holy month of Ramadan. The majlises increase during the holy month due to the nature of this month and its religious and social characteristics based on increasing rapprochement and harmony among people and for the great role that they play throughout history in the meeting of individuals to read Quran, hang out or enjoy the Ghab Gamil. This good social feature is still preserved by the Bahraini society and consolidated in the hearts of generations and the honorable Bahraini families are still keen on their survival despite all the political, economic and social changes and the Ramadan majlises continue their role in spite of the spread of social media.